to all today we are going to discuss about some important terminologies related to the genetics the very first term is the phenotype what is phenotype phenotype is the external makeup of an organism means i want to say it represents the morphology of an organism and it can be seen from outside if i am tall so it is visible now that i am tall so it is the phenotype of an organism so it is the external feature of an organism and it can be seen but always remember that phenotype is the result of the genotype and the environment interaction means genotype produces the phenotype right and a small impact of the environment is also there on the phenotype of the organism so genotype and the environment interaction produces the phenotype phenotype never produces the genotype right so always remember phenotype is due to the genotype and the environment interaction so phenotype is equal to genotype and environmental interaction okay now say for capital a capital a and capital a small a are two different genotypes okay but they have the same phenotype you can see practically here also say for capital t capital t and small t small t though they are having the different genotypes but they are having the same phenotype say for the tall and it is also called as the tall okay now the question is is what is genotype so genotype is actually the genetic constitution of an organism it is the genetic makeup of an organism and we know very well that they are not visible genes are not visible so it cannot be seen so what is the main difference in phenotype is the external makeup of an organism and genotype is the genetic makeup of an organism or the genetic constitution of an organism and phenotype can be seen but the genotype cannot be seen and genotype produces a phenotype okay so these are the two important terms used in genetics right so if i am tall and it is visible from outside it is the phenotype but i am tall because of the genes found in me of the tallness okay so genotype and phenotype term were given by johansen both these term genotype and phenotype were given by johansen now the next one is phenocopy what is phenocopy many students know about the phenotype and the genotype but many people are not knowing the information about the phenocopy now always remember if two different genotypes if two different genotypes are placed in two different environmental conditions then they will be producing the same phenotype then these genotypes then these genotypes okay are said to be the phenocopy of one another so what is phenocopy if two different genotypes placed in two different environmental conditions if they produce the same phenotype then the genotypes are said to be the phenocopy of each other okay now coming to the next one hybrid vigor or the heterosis what is hybrid vigor or heterosis always remember that superiority of the organisms or the offspring over their parents is called as the hybrid vigor hybrid vigor says that offspring are always far more superior than the parents and the superiority of the offspring over their parents is called as a hybrid vigor and always remember that hybrid vigor is produced due to the heterozygosity it never produced it is never produced because of the homozygosity homozygosity will always cause inbreeding depression if you want to remove the inbreeding depression then you have to undergo the heterozygosity then only you can expect about the hybrid vigor or the superiority of the offsprings okay hybrid vigor can be lost hybrid vigor can be lost by regular inbreeding or selfing between the organisms okay why because inbreeding or selfing will never cause heterozygosity it will be causing the homozygosity okay so loss of hybrid vigor due to inbreeding loss of hybrid vigor due to inbreeding is called as inbreeding depression if we want to remove the inbreeding depression then we have to go through the heterozygosity okay so this is called as what the hybrid vigor or the heterosis this is actually generally done in the case of the breeding experiments okay this is done in the case of the breeding experiments now we talk about many crosses in the genetics mono hybrid di hybrid tri hybrid okay but many times the people are not knowing about the reciprocal cross that's why i have discussed here 
Now imagine about the two crosses. When two parents are used in two experiments. Two parents are used in two experiments. Say for this is experiment number one, this is experiment number two. Okay? Right? In such a way that in one experiment, say for the capital A, it is treated as a parent. A is used as female and in this and the B is used as the male parent. Imagine about the experiment in which A is used as female parent and B is used as a male parent. Now in the another set of experiment, this A which was used as female is now used as a male parent and B which was used as a male parent is now used as a female parent. Then such type of the set of the two experiment is called as the reciprocal cross. Say for capital T, capital T, small t, small t. Here capital T, capital T is treated as female and small t, small t is treated as male. Capital T, capital T here is treated as male. Here we have treated female. Here we are treating male. Small t, small t here we have treated male. Here we are treating as female. But you can see the result in the F1 generation that all are tall. Here also all are tall. So the reciprocal cross never causes so much impact but it may have an impact. Now the question arises where it produces an impact. So you have to remember this note that characters which are controlled by karyogenes. Karyogenes are the genes present in the nucleus on the chromosomes. Okay. So characters controlled by karyogenes which are present on the autosomes are not affected by the reciprocal cross. But in case of the cytoplasmic inheritance and the sex linkage will change by the reciprocal cross. Okay, so you have to remember this thing that characters which are controlled by the karyogenes present on the autosomes are not affected by this uh, reciprocal cross. But in the case of the cytoplasmic inheritance and the sex linkage will change by the reciprocal cross. So dear student, today we have discussed some important terminologies related to genetics which are important to study the genetics. So keep watching, we'll be coming soon with many new videos based on genetics. If you want to take the screenshot of this video, you can take.